After years of delays, Tesla is finally getting closer to the start of production of the Tesla Semi, its all-electric semi-truck. The whole truck industry is watching. While there are already a few electric trucks on the road, none of them have these specs enabling longer range hauling in a Class 8 semi-truck, like the Tesla Semi is promising. When launching Tesla Semi in 2017, the automaker said that the electric truck's production versions, a Class 8 truck with an 8,000-pound capacity, will have 300-mile and 500-mile range options for $150,000 and $180,000, respectively. It would also have the lowest cost of operation of any semi-truck, making it extremely disruptive in an industry where every cent counts. However, the electric vehicle has seen many delays that cost it its momentum. When unveiled in 2017, Tesla said that it would come to market in 2019 and it started taking reservations from many companies looking to electrify their fleets. Tesla couldn't deliver the truck in 2019, so it was delayed in 2020, which became 2021, but now things are really starting to move. In March, Electric exclusively reported that Tesla was building a production line for the Tesla Semi at a new building near Gigafactory, Nevada, to produce five Tesla Semi electric trucks per week by the end of the year. Tesla Giga Nevada, or Gigafactory 1, is a lithium-ion battery and electric vehicle component factory in Story County, Nevada. The facility located east of Reno is owned and operated by Tesla and supplies the battery packs for the company's electric vehicles. If fully built out, the building will have the largest footprint in the world. The facility is located at the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center TRIC, and employed around 7,000 people at the end of 2018, intending to hire thousands more with a total of nearly 10,000 statewide. Future manufacturing programs may also move to Nevada. The factory started limited production of the Tesla Powerwall home energy storage device in the first quarter of 2016, using battery cells produced elsewhere, and began mass production of cells in January 2017. Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval estimated that Nevada could enjoy $100 billion in economic benefit over two decades from the construction and operation of the factory. The grand opening event was held on July 29, 2016. Giga Nevada is aligned on True North, which was done so that the equipment can be mapped by GPS and solar panels on the roof can be accurately aligned. The factory has also been designed to become entirely energy self-reliant. Tesla intends to power the structure through a combination of on-site solar, wind, and geothermal sources. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, 100 factories like Giga Nevada would be necessary to transition the world to sustainable energy consumption without any increase in production density, such as switching to a dry electrode coating process. In 2014, it was announced that Panasonic had reached a basic agreement with Tesla to invest in a factory, estimated to cost $5 billion. The Northern Nevada site and plans were announced with state officials on September 3, 2014. Panasonic agreed to lead the battery cell production portion of the manufacturing, and Tesla CEO Elon Musk indicated in 2015 that the total Panasonic investment would be between $1.5 and $2 billion, and that Tesla would not expand beyond original plans. In early 2016, Panasonic president Kazuhiro Suga confirmed a planned total investment of about $1.6 billion by the company to equip the factory to full capacity. However, after the number of Model 3 reservations became known in April 2016, Panasonic moved production plans forward and announced a bond sale of $3.86 billion, most of it to be invested in Gigafactory. Tesla owns the land and building and leases parts of the building to several suppliers. The Gigafactory is operated by a management team under executive Jens Peter Clausen, formerly a Lego executive who is VP of Gigafactory at Tesla. By 2016, Gigafactory had 317 Tesla employees and 52 by Panasonic, most of them from Nevada, and 850 by December 2016. In 2017, 3,249 employees were registered, and by December 2018, 7,000 people worked at Gigafactory Nevada, increasing to 7,557 by June 2019. The factory is intended to gradually provide cradle-to-cradle -cradle handling of batteries from raw materials over components to finished products and recycling old batteries into new ones. Cells constitute most of the value creation, whereas packing and electronics are minor parts. Tesla views production as more important than products and assigns more engineers to develop production equipment than to develop products. The battery cells produced at the Gigafactory are the new Form Factor 2170, jointly designed and engineered by Tesla and Panasonic. They are larger than the 18650 cells used in the Model S and Model X automobiles. While the cells were originally expected to be at least 20 millimeters in diameter and 70 millimeters in length, revised specifications for the optimized form factor are 21 millimeters by 70 millimeters. Panasonic was expected to begin cell production in 2016 and continue for at least 10 years. Among the machines spotted at the opening in July 2016 were presses and rollers for cathodes. 
Gigafactory began mass production of the 2170 cells in January 2017. Only Panasonic cells are to be used in the US-made Model 3, and Tesla uses 2170 format for Model 3 and Powerwall Power Pack. Panasonic owns some of the cell production equipment in an area not accessible to others. By December 2018, Panasonic operated 11 cell production lines. Some of the lines were temporarily converted from storage NMC to vehicle NCA to increase supply for Model 3. Tesla uses nickel manganese cobalt NMC lithium cells for stationary storage Powerwall and Power Pack and nickel cobalt aluminum NCA lithium cells for vehicles. The cell components are then encased in aluminum cans made by Heitkamp and Thuman inside GF1 using 10,000 tons per year. An April 2019 report quoting former and current employees at Panasonic side of the Gigafactory described how half a million battery cells per day were scrapped because of production defects related to carelessness, lack of respect for operating procedures, and the overall pressure to increase output. Panasonic delivered 3 million battery cells daily to Tesla in 2018. At the end of 2019, Panasonic had 3,000 U.S. workers and 200 Japanese technicians at Gigafactory 1. Quality had improved to increase production to a rate of 30 gigawatts a year on the same equipment. Panasonic occupies more than half of the factory. On April 30, 2015, Elon Musk announced that the factory heretofore known simply as the Gigafactory was now to be known as Gigafactory 1 as Tesla plans to build more such factories in the future. At the same event, Musk also said that he believed that other companies would build their own similar Gigafactories. After receiving $800 million of orders, that's $179 million in Powerwall and $625 million in Powerpack, within one week of unveiling, Musk estimated that Gigafactory 1 is not enough to supply the demand. In May 2017 at a TED Talk, Elon Musk stated his intention to announce three or four new Gigafactory sites to manufacture both batteries and complete cars. Tesla expects the Gigafactory to be the biggest building in the world and entirely powered by renewable energy sources. Designed to be a net-zero energy factory upon completion, the facility will be primarily powered by solar and installation is already underway. In mid-2018, battery production at Gigafactory 1 reached an annualized rate of roughly 20 gigawatts an hour, making it the highest volume battery plant in the world. Tesla currently produces more battery in terms of kilowatts than all other car makers combined. With Gigafactory ramping up production, Tesla's cost of battery cells will significantly decline through economies of scale, innovation manufacturing, reduction of waste, and the simple optimization of locating most manufacturing processes under one roof. By reducing the cost of batteries, Tesla can make products available to more and more people, allowing us to make the biggest possible impact on transitioning the world to sustainable energy. Now that you've watched this video, let us know what you think about Tesla's Gigafactory in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.